Hi, Geminis. Welcome in, you guys. Happy birthday. Happy June 1st. This is your general reading. Welcome into Searchlight Tarot. We're doing your general reading, and this is going to be good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Geminis. Happy birthday, you guys. Many blessings to all of you. A lot of new things are going on for you. We have your new moon, you guys, on the 6th. That Sagittarius full moon set everything into motion for all signs. This is your season. This is your time to shine and everything is moving in a brand new direction for you. Closing door and a lot of beautiful color around you, Geminis. It's mindful group think. The Garden of Venus. Wow, Geminis. I think I want to be a Gemini, Gemini right now. All right, you guys. I'm going to go by how I feel in the cards if you've never viewed me. I am going to let the cards fly out. But whenever I see this card, it's telling me that there's a lot of old cycles that are closed. That door shutting. Because there's something around you right now for a beginner's mind. It's a fresh, like, it's a fresh breath. It's like your mind is starting to envision the things in life that you truly want. I have the empty well. A part of you is being replenished. And then I have the dust devil moving out of stagnation. You guys are going on a lot of new journeys right now. Um, if this is your reading, I feel that there's a sense. Oh my God, look at these two cards. The fortune's wheel and in the hand. You guys had the fortune's wheel three times in your last reading. Everything is aligning for you, Geminis. And I just want to say something that sometimes a door must close in our lives so abundant new ones can begin. Your new moon is going to kick everything off for you. Current. Let's look. I'll just let the cards do the talking. Current energies for the sign of Gemini. This reading is for... If you guys have never viewed me, my name is Elena. Welcome in and welcome back to my Geminis. Okay, your guides. Current energies for the sign of Gemini. This reading is for, please. What do I need to see? Thank you current energies for the sign of Gemini. All right, here we go. Underneath the deck is deep quiet, meditation and stillness. I'll put it all together for you. Sky riding the fates, a lot of changes. The root girl, back to your disowned self. There's a big energy around you, Geminis, for breaking through barriers. And what I mean by that is that I feel that if this is your reading, there's a new energy around you for not letting anything block you not letting anyone, any energies, or anything block you from the things in life that you want to go after. Over to my left, oh, got two cards. Over to my left is the benefactor, grace and generosity, spirit of river, movement towards adventure. I feel you're going towards a lot of things right now that's going to reward you many folds over. Your energy has changed. Right now, it's a beautiful energy of giving and receiving. And it's a beautiful energy of you guys just going forward, movement of the river. You know, it's like, it, it's towards new beginnings, you guys. Your spirit right now, if this is your reading, you feel this. Like you, like you don't know where you're going, but you got this energy of new dreams, new visions, new possibilities. Okay, I have transmuting pain, and then there's the mindful group think. Like your energy has completely shifted. I mean, this came out during my pre-shuffle, but right now you're really transmuting anything that has been blocking you from going after all this beautiful energy of group think. It's mindful. It's like your whole energy shifting into this place of Venus, beauty, love, abundance. Guys, I got the farther gate, a bold step forward. You guys, you got, Gemini, if this is your reading, you're in, in this big energy and vibration right now of attraction. And what I feel from the cards and what I feel is that you're not going to allow anything to block you anymore. You're in a big energy of your own power, the things that you want in life. You're really in harmony with yourself right now. And then the will of the wisp treasures are hidden in the shadows. Wow, you guys, I just want to say something to you that whatever you're going through right now, because whenever I see this card, it's just telling me that there's a beautiful energy that it's almost like you're attracted to it. Like it's a new realm, a higher vibration, more, it's illumination of a, a bigger spirituality. 
And I feel spirit guides are telling me for you to trust in something here and know that whatever you go after right now in your life, it's going to change parts of your destiny. I mean, there's a new energy around you right now. I feel for all new beginnings. You have a lot of dreams right now and I feel that you're not going to allow anyone to block you anymore and you're going after the things in life that are gonna make you happy. What beautiful energies, Geminis. Now I'm gonna look at what's coming in for you in just a minute. You guys, embrace your new moon. Embrace this new moon for new beginnings in Gemini. It's going to make you feel whole. It's going to show you the things that you want to do, the doors that will open. I'll look at your incoming in a minute, but I like to look at the recent past because the recent past always tells me a little bit. Oh, I use this deck today. I never knew how many to use. The Magician. The, you guys, this is all about your own manifestations with your energy. You had a lot of new truths about something. And I feel it was about the things in life that you wanted. The Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is all about your success, stability, getting on top, being the king of it. Six of Pentacles, I feel, was recently behind you. You started looking at situations and people in your life, and you guys started using your sword. Judgment. You did a lot of compassionate reviews of everything you've been through with certain situations in your life. But the Ace of Swords and the Magician, and I will let them fall out now, is telling me that you guys had a lot of new truths, you guys had new visions, and you were in a big energy of making it happen with your own energy. I just feel that with that Queen of Swords showing up, it was like you guys just came into a big energy of not allowing anyone to cross you anymore with your own truth, your own integrity, and you trusted your intuition. That's probably why all these, that new gates open for you to walk through. Recent past. For the sign of Gemini. What would you like to show me for messages? Recent past. For the sign of Gemini's. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I don't even want to ask for anything else. It's a lot, but I'll go through it. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> A lot of revelations, and it's with the Five of Swords. Wow, that tower. All right, you guys, this is what I want to say. Whatever you've been through, I feel that you came into a big energy of kaboom. Like you were in a big energy of changing your life, and things came at you to make you change your life. Because this is a sudden re revelation that offers freedom. With the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, it was a big energy that you had to break through. Like you had a breakthrough recently behind you about the things that you feel were stingy with you or held back and the things people have said to you to demean you because you guys had a big energy of the magician. And I feel your energy changed when you had all these revelations about things in your life that just weren't for you. You were determined to change your life for the better and six of swords and it's going towards the empress. I feel there's a big energy recently behind you for going towards the things in life that you wanted to nurture, the things that you wanted to feel harmony with the things that you wanted to come into abundance tomorrow, you came into a big energy of not allowing anyone to block you. That tower is a sudden revelation that offers freedom. You had epiphanies behind you. Four swords, four swords, seven of pentacles. I got another four, four of cups. Okay, you guys, you guys put a lot of work into something here. Okay, I feel that if this is your reading, you were doing a lot of downtime, reflection, on something that you truly wanted because I just feel that whatever you had been through it was a wake-up call and I just feel like you weren't going to tolerate something behind you recently anymore that kept feeling like it was a vicious cycle it might have hurt but it set you free and right now spirit guides are telling me that you're taking a bold step forward to a new vibration seven of Pentacles you kept nurturing things and that's beautiful it's telling me that everything that you nurtured in the right way you are planting your seeds for abundance tomorrow. Whatever it is, love, relationships, yourself, your money, whatever. But I got a lot of determination behind you. I have the queen and king of fire. I, I'm just going to say something. I just, this is what I'm going to say. I'll just round it out. I'm an Aquarius, so you guys, I'm a straight shooter like you. I just feel whatever revelations you had behind you, it was something to change your life and change a part of you. And right now in your energies, I feel that there's a big power for you to take charge of everything and go after the things that you want. You're looking at everything about with a beginner's mind, replenishing yourself, taking a, this big energy of going after things, taking more risks with things. 
because it's pushing you somewhere beautiful. I have your Ten of Cups sideways. The Queen of Swords is in reverse. Hold on. The King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups in reverse. I feel that right now coming into your current energies is you're more concerned about your stability and success than anything else. I don't feel you're allowing anyone to take away any pieces of your happiness away anymore. I feel that in your energies right now, you're very grounded and you're no longer going to allow anyone to cross you. And it's a big energy around you right now for taking a bold step forward, for going after the things in life that you really want, Gemini's. There's a, there, there's a beautiful energy around you right now of color. And whenever I see all that mindful group think, it's telling me that this is just an energy around you of just beauty and going after things with more creativity and love and being open to it. Because whatever you're putting the work into right now, there's treasures hidden in the shadows. So come into your own energy of knowing that you've been through a lot and now there's things coming in for you, Geminis, that's pushing you forward for new parts of your destiny. Because this is sky riding the fates, but this is a new realm, you guys, a higher vibration. Whatever you've been through, it was to tell you to change something about your life and not allowing old energies to come in and block you anymore. You stop putting your work into certain situations in your life that weren't going to make you happy. Good for you. All right, let's look at what's coming in for you. I heard in my head, those are always interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> Victory and success. I never knew it was any of these decks. Triumph and success. The waiting game. You guys, uh, this is rest and rejuvenation with memories of love and something in your life is about to change. It's been showing up in your reading. So that's going to change parts of your destiny. Look at all those connections, Gemini. It's like everything is aligning for you for new bits and pieces of your destiny. Maybe it's new connections, rekindled connections, new jobs, new ventures, and it's with your heart. Because Gemini, you, there's a reason you're the lovers. You know, choices with your heart, destiny. And I feel that spirit guides are telling me right now that the incoming energies, I'll shuffle, I'll let them fly out, is you're about to have a giant victory. And the Ace of Swords is in your hand telling me that you have the magic to create whatever you want with your own belief system and seeing the truth of everything. <gasps> Love begins with the heart. Oh, Gemini. You guys, this is beautiful. Like there's this beautiful creative energy. And when that new moon hits on the sixth in your sign in your season, it's gonna be a sense of wonder and it's gonna be powerful. I'm gonna do one more shuffle. Strongest incoming for Gemini, please. Week to two weeks. Thank you. Strongest incoming. Thank you. For the sign of Gemini, next week to two weeks. What do I need to see? Thank you. Strongest. Thank you. Anything else for the sign of Gemini? Strongest thing coming, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, look at this. Victory in success. That's why I shuffle so much. Your throat chakra. Okay, you guys, I just have a message for you. Whenever I see the throat chakra and you are all about speech communication, that spirit guides are telling me in the incoming energies, you will have your voice about the things you want to claim for a victory. That nothing's going to block you anymore because the proper verbiage, the proper speech, the proper what you need to say will show you the direction you're going for everything you want to come into fruition. But there's some things around you that if you feel that things aren't blending in the right way, spirit guides are telling me to stay in your truth that you know sometimes we can bend for other people but if we use our own compassionate way of words with others everything is coming towards you in the right way this is the prosperity begins you guys it's an ace i have foundation and achievements and i feel spirit guides want me to tell you that you're going towards new cycles you're going towards a new place of your own foundation and achievements this is the card of wisdom but in this energy, the sun is around you, illumination. Your book is in your hands of the things in life that you want for your future. 
and it's victory and success baby it's triumph you guys are going towards everything and everything is coming in for you you're no longer going to allow anything to block you in the incoming energies and spirit guides are telling me everything's wide open for you this is the four of wands you guys okay and you have all this thing all in the next right after your new moon you guys these are all things that are just popping in one at a time you know it's just going to be almost a little gemini's going to be like what's going on over to my left gemini's there it is again i have the waiting game the wheel of fortune now you guys i've been feeling this energy in your reading and it's been shocking to me your last reading had three of them and this reading it's already shown up but spirit guide is saying what's coming in for you is a lot of beautiful change and everything that flies in towards you is aligning something bigger and better for tomorrow. It's good to be a Gemini right now. Next card is your intuition, Geminis. I have fin financial and material changes. Changes. Gates opening, solid new beginnings are flying in because you're in the sun now when we're in the sun of illumination we attract everything and spirit guides are telling me to tell you gemini's soak up that energy stay in the power of your sun you are in the sun right now illumination positivity optimistic plans the only thing that can disrupt you is you allowing negative energies to block your own beautiful energy of what's about to happen in your life it slows down your manifestations here we are you're moving on goodbye gray hello white light and sun new possibilities new beginnings you guys because the last card they gave me is nothing is stopping you you guys have power strength and courage you guys have a lot of leo energy coming in but this is all about optimism from your own strength and courage and you are illuminated and I feel that spirit guides are telling me you're, be, you're pushed forward, you're moved forward. You're, right now you're in the farther gate, a bold step forward, but you're walking through. And something in your life is all aligning. It's going to keep coming in one opportunity at a time. And it's all going to, to, to create magical things for you. Because the wheel of fortune is ruled by luck and right timing for your foundation and achievements. It looks like you guys are just walking into all these new beginnings. Like the wheel is working with you. Your tree, these things that are going to come at you are because of your own energy of the sun. You're about to attract a lot in the next few weeks. And you have this beautiful energy of strength and courage. Grace. You're attracting so much in the next few weeks. And whatever you take of these opportunities coming towards you, stay in your own place of optimism. It's okay for you to look back at what you've learned and where you've been. But spirit guides are telling me for you to trudge forward, go forward. There's a lot of triumphs to be had because everything is aligning for you in the right way. Oh, Gemini's. <laughs> wow. Lucky you. All right, you guys. I mean, that was just beautiful. So I'm going to get some spirit guide messages now. They want, they want to say something to you. I'll let the cards fly. I just, I'm just a messenger. I just, okay, who wanna, why am I going over here? I think I'm going over here because they want me to use this deck. I don't know why. Let's look. These are straight from Spirit Guides, and I will just let the cards fall out. I'll take a few under the deck. Beautiful Temperance, Six of Cups. I really do not know who's under these decks, you guys. Are you ready to take a lot of new leaps of faith? The Fool, it's like starting over, new journeys, going after things that make you happy, and you're going to be doing it with your heart. And stay committed. You know, the Hierophant, the Knight of Love is telling me that that's a very brave night about going after everything you want with your heart. Six of Cups to me is memorabilia and nostalgia, but it's also feeling like a child again. Like I feel you're just going to have this new sense of wonder and spirit guides are telling me, go ahead, Gemini's. It's going to lead you into a beautiful new direction. Be that playful child. Spirit guides, I'd like some messages today. I'm going to do one more shuffle for my Gemini's. If you can tell Gemini's anything today. Two of Cups. Two of Swords, and get ready for some new ventures. Okay, you guys, this is what they want to say to you because you just happen to be under the deck. Coincidence? I say not. Everything in life is about connecting to it with love. 
The only thing that can block us about being at a crossroads is not realizing that everything that you want is an exciting new challenge, but this is young fire energy. Spirit guides are telling me for you to go after the things that you want to connect to with your heart, Geminis. Don't do it because it left you at a compromise about something. What is it that's going to make you happy? And take charge of situations the Emperor with you. Oh, they're talking to my birthday, Geminis, today like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Geminis, your reading's beautiful. I knew it was going to be beautiful. I, I just knew it. I felt it when I started. Spirit guides. And I am so looking forward to your new moon. I would love some messages. Thank you for the trailers for Gemini. Messages about this reading for the sign of Gemini's. If you can give Gemini's any messages today, what do you want to tell the sign of Gemini's? Who's this? The Two of Cups. Make sure you connect. This is what I want to say, because these are messages from my spirit guides to you. I'm all about a higher vibration and connecting to a higher, a higher realm with our energy. Six of Swords. Spirit guides are saying, as long as you go after everything that you truly want, that's going to bring you happiness with your heart. It's going to push you in the right direction towards the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, it's about relocation, travel, new things coming your way. You're going to new places. Stop allowing the things in life that, there it is again, okay. Eight of Swords, your own, that's fear entrapment, you know, and sometimes the Eight of Swords, air energy tends to do it. We start to stress about the unknown. What if, what if, what if? Because something else turned out your mind. Spirit guides are telling me, you need to stay in an energy of what you truly want with your ultimate happiness. Be happy. The Ten of Cups is everything you want with your happiness, but this is heart energy with your heart. Stop going back to situations that are toxic for you, meaning if something didn't work out from the past and it, it, you kept giving it a shot and it wasn't working out, Spirit Guides are telling me it's time for you to move forward because that's what the Six of Swords is about. And it's time for you to move forward towards the things in life that are going to make you happy with your heart because Spirit Guides want me to tell you the wheel is at play. And everything that you want to go after with your heart, you will have a victory. And there's a lot of golden energy of new opportunities, new solid beginnings. And I have it with the Empress. Oh, Gemini, this is beautiful. Listen, you guys, the devil just represents things that we felt chained to that were truly not. It could be toxic behavior, toxic people, toxic energies. But spirit guides are telling me the wheel's working with you to go after the things in life that you really want. Stop going back to an old energy that is not healthy for you, whatever it may be. I have justice. Love that. I have judgment, oh, the double J's, and then I have five of wands, you guys, and this is a big message for you, and this is what this is. Justice is about what is right, what is wrong, and it's also about karmic justice. It's about fighting for what is right. Rulings will be made in your favor, but spirit guides are telling me that, because I did see disruption, that some, there's some energies worth fighting with, and there's some that just aren't. Stay in a big energy of judgment. Like this is a very beautiful energy about a compassionate review, learning to let it go and trusting in a process. You know, stop feeling as if I need to make it right. I gotta make it right. You need to let it go because something in your life is about to be new and it's about to be rebirthed. Four of wands is in reverse. That's the 1111 and I have it with the seven of swords sideways. It's a message. As long as you always, we all do it, not just you, all of us. As long as you always feel that new opportunities, new possibilities, well, I'm too old or that, that's not going to happen. You're deceiving yourself from something here. Because I just feel my message to tell you that everything around you wants to be rebirthed in the right way. This is about letting something go. You know, it made you a bigger and better person that justice is stepping in to make sure everything in your life is right. But your 1111 is in reverse and it's with the seven of swords. And this is a card of betrayal, deceit, lies, strategy, deceiving ourselves. It's Aquarius energy. And I know this energy because I'm an Aquarius and I'm not this way, but this card, what Aquarians like to do is they like to avoid situations. They'd rather sneak out the back door because they don't want to confront it because they don't want to hurt somebody. And I just feel that whatever's going on around you, spirit guides are telling me it's now time for you to, to embrace something here and go after what you want in life. 
that justice is working with you. Everything is playing out for a victory. This is a card of rebirthing new things, a compassionate review of whatever you've been through. There's a golden opportunity coming in. It's about everything you nurture. Go after everything you want and feel like that child again, Gemini's, because whatever coming in for you is new gateways open. That the only thing that can block all these things from playing out for you with the field warp, with everything in the right timing is about you not going through a new door. Like, it's like, to me, this is like, okay, I'm just, I gotta just say what I gotta say. Whenever I see the Seven of Swords, I always think of strategy, but I also think of strategy on how to get away from something. Maybe it's telling you that if there's energies that you can't work with, maybe you just need to find another way out. You know, and this is about your dreams, your wishes, the things that you want to come into fruition, Gemini. Everything is in your hands. But I just feel like spirit guides are telling me it's all in how you do the work and everything how you embrace it. And I just want to say that everything that you put work into, everything that you learn that if you invest in it in the right way, you nurture it, something beautiful is going to grow. Gemini has a beautiful reading today. I mean, you have everything coming your way, but sometimes there's certain situations in our life that we need to find a way out of. And it's about facing something here, you know, or finding a different way instead of trying to escape out the back door. It's like face your fears and take care of it. Go after the things in life that are going to make you happy, Gemini's. Nothing is blocking you. Angel cards for Gemini's today. I would love two to three cards. I'm going to do one more because it's, like, it's their birthday. <laughs> All right, let's start uh, to the left here. First card they gave you is the three of Ariel, Angel Ariel, the Angel of Earth. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. If you go after everything you want with love, everybody and everything wants to work with you. Don't go after it for anything else because then they gave you the Knight of Love, the Knight of Raphael. Angel Raphael, you guys. Committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that will make your heart flutter. Oh, you guys, this is like so many things coming in for you to go after what you want with your heart. Feeling like a child again. Don't allow other energies to block you. Find a way out. Use strategy or confront it. They gave you the Ace of Ariel. I did see the Ace of Pentacles. As a matter of fact, it's right here. It's the same energy. It's your lucky day, Gemini's. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or promotion. All right, okay, two of Michael. Angel Michael gave you the two. I think that always shows up in your reading. I did see the two swords. It will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. Yeah, like what's going to serve you for your highest good and stay in the power of the sun. You know, don't do it in a bad way, but just know that this whole reading is about you and your happiness and going towards a bigger realm. That something's pushing you forward for all new beginnings, you guys. And I've already seen the fortunes wheel twice. Matter of fact, it's right here. Okay. Last card they gave you is card number nine, Epiphany. And that's what spirit guides want to say to you. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. I feel like spirit guides are telling me the more love you spread, the more love you receive. If you feel that you're out of sorts, because sometimes when we go through a lot of change very fast, we start to feel like, what is going on? It's like the earth is moving under your feet. So get your downtime, meditate, you will have your answers. And do it in a powerful white light. Oh, Gemini's, what a beautiful reading today. Uh, many blessings to you guys. I hope this reading today helped you. Um, I just feel the kind of in this message that spirit guides are saying, there's always a way out of certain situations, but first you have to face your fears about something and tackle it because a new door is coming through for you. And I feel that you guys, I'm just gonna say nothing's blocking you. You're just walking right into that big, bold step forward and what waits for you, endless possibilities. Okay, Gemini's have a beautiful day. I'm rolling into love crossing now.
So if you guys are, you know, in a harmonious relationship or just not dealing with anyone, I, I'm just going to let love crossing fly out and see what comes out. I'm not going to speculate what it might be. But these are the strongest energies that you're dealing with. And I'm going to start over here. So if you guys are good where you're at, many blessings to you. Have a beautiful birthday season, a beautiful new moon, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. For the Geminis. Oh, look who's under the deck. My Geminis. Oh. I got big Aquarius, the star. Ah, uh, the woe is me card. Temperance, three of cups. Well, somebody still reflects on something here. A lot. Somebody has lost a lot of hope in something here, but they're trying to regain it. Somebody feels like they messed up. Current energies for the sign of Gemini's. Strongest love crossing for the sign of Gemini. What do I need to see? Thank you. Strongest love crossing energies for the sign of Gemini. I always get a lot of cards. Okay. The moon. The six of wands. Nine of... Someone's trying to find themselves again. Um transformation okay what am i feeling here temperance three of wands oh somebody's having a hard time somebody keeps looking back at something here gemini's um Uh, the moon has a lot of meanings and whenever I see the moon, it's somebody who's very unsure if they can try to make something work here with you. They're really focused on change in their life and about feeling whole again. But I feel this person is holding back about something with you because they're waiting for you to go towards them or something of that nature. Let's look. I don't know yet. Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Why did you go sideways with my Gemini's? You guys, somebody's going back and forth about something here. Um, I don't like to do third party. It could be, I, I'm just, it's such a minute amount, but the three of pentacles is, you know, the triangle of stability relationships union, but they're, they're stuck. They're stalled out right now. Um, why do I feel like this is a person who just can't get past a bridge with you because they can't let you go. They don't want to let you go. Ace of swords, the queen of pentacles, the knight of pentacles are both sideways. I don't like to see the queen and the knight sideways and it's just telling me that it's a person who's completely stalled out and they feel like they're tired of giving pieces of themselves away but yet at the same time there's parts of themselves that they shouldn't have given away in the wrong way because they're having a lot of new truths and this is a big ace you guys that can hurt three of cups is over to my left i have the nine of wands the nine of cups and who's this last card and the six of swords somebody wants you know in their current energies right now all this all this so what I gotta say, I just feel whoever this is, is really looking at things in their life that they've put themselves in a very bad position and perhaps they let other energies get involved here or something that they thought was going to come together for them. And I don't mean other, like another relationship, but other people and whoever this is, I'm just going to say right now that they think about you all the time, but unfortunately, wherever they're at right now, there's a part of them they know that needs to change. Like this is a very heavy card. It's the dark night of the soul. They're in a lot of reflection right now about something in their life with you, but they're holding on to their cups of love for their wish. I feel that this person is doing a lot of inner work right now because they feel that they've given parts of themselves away to other things. And I don't mean other people. I feel they want to get to the light at the end of the tunnel with you and they ain't giving up. They're hoping, they're wishing, they're praying every day for you. Whoever this is. All right, let's look at their intentions because I don't know, this is somebody at a distance, but they're holding back. I just feel they're hoping that you're going to come towards them. Now, if this is somebody who did you dirty, I'm going to do my speech. We don't need to talk about that. You deserve only the best. Hold on to that vibration because what you got coming in is a whole new one to attract bigger and better. Now, Let's look at their intentions. This is this deck now. Okay. Two of swords, crossroads, chariot with an ace of cups. Their intentions? They want a chapter to be over. So soon you saw this person wants to speak to you, Gemini's, and they're going to try to open something up with truth. Like they're going to try to find a compromise with you about something. Let's say. 
Love crossing. This is somebody you're connected to. They, they, want, they want to find a resolution to something here. They don't want to lose you. Love crossing attentions towards Gemini's. Thank you. Next few weeks. Love crossing attentions. Strongest towards the sign of Gemini's. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Oh, let's see. Here comes the Emperor. Four of Cups, Justice. Someone's going to try to make something right here with you, Gemini's. You guys, two of Pentacles, two of Swords, and here comes the Chariot. You know, the Chariot's Cancerian energy, but this is somebody who wants to change something with you because then I have Scorpio death. And this is what I feel. This person, whoever this is, is going to try to make something here work with you. They're going to, they're hoping and praying that you're going to do the mending. You're going to, but this person is, is trusting their intuition saying, maybe I just need to do it because I have the Knight of Wands sideways. It's not in reverse. It's not upright. You guys, it's somebody who wants a new beginning of love. And I feel this person is not coming in fast and fiery. I feel this person is going to try to make something work here with you. They're not 100% sure on how to do this. But this is, this is a new beginning. It could be somebody new. Nine of Wands and the world could be somebody new. My Geminis. Oh, Geminis. You either got two people coming in one from the past and somebody new who's taking charge of situation and wants to get to a new beginning with you or this is somebody who wants to break the barrier here for to close this is this is this might be two different energies here gemini's because you are attracting a lot right now you got somebody stepping up to the plate i mean this is someone who's just like wow that's aries energy and then you got somebody here who's not coming in as fast as they normally would to make something work with you this is a card of closed chapters to start new beginnings you guys and you were the last card they they're coming back to see their gemini's they're coming back to try to reconnect with you gemini's and this is a lot of power will and determination with intuition um i don't know what's going on here but if this is somebody new congratulations if this is somebody from the past well you you know you'll know what to do trust your intuition and if this is two people, go get them, Gemini's. <laughs> you guys, here's your reading today. I hope it helped you in some way. You guys, beautiful energies. Happy new moon in Gemini. Happy birthday. Have a beautiful Saturday. Thank you for your love and support. An amazing next few weeks. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you.